Hello and welcome to this tutorial for using Talking Word Processor to summarize. When you summarize, you take a really big file and you turn it into a smaller, more easy to manage file. There are lots of things that can help you do this, but today we're going to look at the Talking Word Processor or TWP. Here's how it works. You're going to go to the Start menu, choose All Programs, go up to Reading and Writing, and look for a program that says Premier Toolbox. The Premier Toolbox shows up at the top and you're going to click on TWP or Talking Word Processor. Once that's open, you need to open up a file. Today we're going to go to Open. We're going to go to the S drive or the Shared drive. You're going to look for a button that says Premier Tools, and then the folder with your teacher's name on it, and then pick the file. For the purpose of the explanation, we're going to look at a file called Simon Jackson Saving the Spirit Bear. Now you can have the computer summarize the file for you. Here it's going to summarize 10% of the file. The problem is that the computer doesn't do a very good job. Believe it or not, you're smarter than it. So here's what the computer decided was important information. It actually doesn't make a lot of sense unless you've read the article beforehand. If we go back to the original document, and we can do that up at the top in Window, you can go back to the original document and see where the computer pulled its information from. You can see it pulled two sentences, one from the middle and one from the end of the document. They didn't get anything from the introduction. They didn't give us any background information. So that doesn't really work very well. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to summarize yourself. One neat function of this program is that you can have the computer read to you. If you go up to Voices, you're going to select one that's called Cali and we recommend that the settings are all at zero. Click OK. Once you've done that and the voice loads, the computer will be ready to read to you. Put your cursor at the beginning of the document, click on read, and there it goes. When you see something that you think is important, you can go back and highlight it. You just highlight it with your mouse and then click on the highlight button. And that will remind you later that you think that information is important. Then you go back, put your cursor where you left off, click on read, and the computer will keep reading to you. When you see something important, stop, highlight with the mouse, click on the highlight button. You can change the color of the highlighting. If you don't like yellow, you can use blue, pink, or green, whatever. Once you have your whole document highlighted, here's the whole document highlighted with all the information that I think is important. You click on Extract, and the computer is going to delete everything. We're going to pick all colors. It's going to extract all the colors. Delete anything that isn't highlighted. There it goes. The advantage with this over traditional cut and paste is that you can always go back to the original document and see where the computer got its information from. So there's your summary. And if you go up to Window, click on the original document, you can see where you got your information from. Maybe you read your summary and you don't think it picked out all the important information, you can select some more. Another cool function of this program is the dictionary. If you get to a word that you don't know, double click in front of it. The computer is going to open a dictionary definition. You can click on read and have the computer read it to you if you'd like. Close that out. When you're finished, there's your summary. You can use this summary for all kinds of things. You can use it as a cheat sheet to study from. Um, you can use it as research notes when you're writing a paper. Maybe you like to study in the bathroom. You can stick it up on the bathroom wall study from it. You can use it as the beginnings of your own written paragraph. But if you're going to write your own paragraph, remember you have to use your own words. So we have some help with that too. 
If you're going to type with the word processor, the first thing you want to do probably is erase, turn off the word repeat and the sentence repeat. That means that the computer is not going to repeat the words for you as you write. But one tool that's good to leave on is the word predictor. If you see right now as I type, the computer is trying to guess what word I'm typing. If you see the word that you want to type in the list, you can double click on it or you can pick the number and the computer will type it for you. So that saves a lot of time, especially if you're a slow typer. If you don't like the word predictor, you can turn it off at the top. But I think it's a neat tool and I like to leave it on. When you're finished all these steps, you'll be done summarizing. Congratulations! You're finished. We're going to go back to the beginning of the video now and show it to you again. But we're going to build in some stops so that you can practice some of the things. Right now we're going to stop the video so everybody can get logged on and make sure they're ready to go.